So now we're in the studio, in, the, in you know, Palm Studio here. What do you guys think of the studio? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's very nice, nice indeed. <laughs> Um, can I move into the sort of like the spare room at the back? <coughs> yeah, can we rent it? We'll, we can fly out here every, like every week. Yeah. It's really nice, man. It's pretty yeah. special, man. Tonight you guys are um, playing at uh, Fancy Sauce mm -hmm. and Moon. You know, yeah. talk about that. Talk about what people can expect to you know to hear tonight. Um, we're doing a DJ set tonight. So um, when we play, uh, like sort of. So our sort of non sort of live show stuff, we sort of mix it up. Really, most of our own music remixes, uh, DJs that we're feeling, um, current music that we like, um, mainly sort of one thirty, one like four four stuff, a little bit of dubstep, some Mimbaton, um, basically like futuristic bass music, I guess, and, and dubstep. Yeah, sounds a bit gay, that actually. Futuristic <laughs> bass music. <laughs> I, I I can go. <laughs> Yeah, yeah quite a British sound, I guess, isn't it? For <laughs> not, not anymore. Yeah, yeah, not anymore. It used to be. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Just bass, bass music, pretty much. Man. Yeah. Um, yeah. Everyone makes bass music now. So. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about what separates you guys from other DJs. Um, we like. I think first and foremost, just from a really superficial level, when we DJ together as DJs, you know, we perform as two people, so that's kind of like quite unusual, and we do that every gig. And then I think, I guess, mainly, like, our sound really is just hopefully what sort of still separates us. I mean, when we started doing it, like, four or five years ago now, it was, we were doing, like, 4 4 music with kind of bass line stuff that, you know, people weren't really doing, and, and it was a bit of a sort of experiment, and people kind of liked it. And now a lot of 4 4 music has, like, big bass lines. It's going, I used to go crazy like that, sort of big room kind of bass music now, which is really exciting. So I think it's... um. It's more familiar sound now than it was a few years back, but I, I think we still sound kind of like ourselves, mm. and it's kind of yeah, sort of kind of house with dubstep yeah. mangled together, I guess. We've always tried to maintain like sort of a hybrid of sound and and genre and like what we're into, I guess, more than anything. Like we've never been like let's make this type of thing, or we just were like let's try something which is just bringing influence from all the stuff that we play, have listened to, have made, whether it be drum and bass, hip hop. Um, house, like early rave to rock to whatever, be more, you know, we'll just take a little bit influence of that in some way in maybe every track in some, in some form. So, um, yeah, I guess that's kind of sort of what separated us really at the beginning. So, now, and you guys are on tour right now? Yeah. Wow. Talk about that. Wow. We just, <laughs> uh, we just kind of started. It's a pretty quick tour, actually. Like, we, um, we just finished our album. We got like a lot of a lot of work to do, so we're kind of we're just in the states for like twelve days. Um, we actually started up in Canada first, and did Toronto, then went down to Miami, did Ultra, and then we were up in New York, and then flew straight here. So it's been quite jet set, mm. but a lot of fun. We're kind of just picking off all like our favorite cities to go <laughs> to in like a short period of time. So yeah, we're off just sort of pretty much like on the west coast after this and uh, and also uh, to play beta in Denver as well which is a great yeah. club things like San Fran San Diego uh, LA yeah. um, places like that left it's yeah. like get spat out back into London yeah, yeah. very <laughs> upset to be leaving yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what can people expect from the new album coming out uh, I mean it's like it's our it's our, like, our debut like LP so we were like, we want to make sure that it's what people expect to a certain degree, you know, that, that, that we built up a, a, like a fan base for like a year, few years now. And so we don't want to suddenly just go off on a tangent. So um, it's going to be like stuff that they're going to satisfy like our, our sort of fans and stuff. And there's a couple of wild cards, a couple of sort of sort of full songs that people wouldn't expect just because we were into certain stuff and we wanted to do it. Um, and... Uh, a few of our older tracks that have already been released, so just that big tracks we were going to yeah. on. So I think we're kind of planning to do the second one like really quickly now, and, and sort of this is like everything that's happened up until this date. So there's quite, it's, as a, I guess like a body of like a f good few years work. Yeah. Whereas the next album will probably be a really concise like kind of concept and an execution, hopefully like within a sort of six month period. So yeah, it's kind of yeah, it's quite it's quite exciting. I think hopefully this one will join the dots for people that might find out about us off the back of doing the album and then yeah and we'll sort of mm. yeah everything from here will be a lot more kind of 
you know, one direction, I think, for each album, hopefully. Did you guys work with other artists on this album? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you worked um, with a lot, man. Quite a few, yeah. Um, quite a lot of guys from over here. Quite a lot of guys from here, yeah. Like, it was mainly, like, the idea wasn't to sort of work with people just for a profile. It was more just, like, we've been in music for so many years, we were like, you know, who are we kind of into and who are our friends? And let's kind of try something with them. And it's kind of friends and family, pretty much. Yeah. I mean, we we did try to reach out to a few people we didn't know, and it just it's difficult to do that sort of thing, especially now because a lot of people that we were mm. like reaching out to are quite, you know, really, doing really well. So we kept it sort of like you say, man, just like mm. friends, and you know, a lot of those guys are doing great anyway. Mm. But you know, it's kind of even if they weren't, I think they'd still be yeah. still be the features on the album, which is yeah. kind of cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, I. I I think we've we've sort of been told to not like say it. Like, <laughs> like, yeah, like there's a few people know about it. We've done like yeah, we done over track. here. We've done like track with like Diplo and uh, another one with Dylan Francis. Yeah, um, I guess the vocal collabs we can't really talk about yet. Yeah, that's the vocal stuff, like. Yeah. But I mean, it's not. It's not gonna. It's not it's like <laughs> Madonna's not on there. Do you know? <laughs> like, yeah, she's got loads. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, um, we have the producer collabs have been yeah. um, like uh, like those sorts of guys. And, yeah. There's some other peeps there, so there's a, there's a few more. yeah, <laughs> and that's all you can say. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'd like to say it all, but <laughs> we, every time, day. every time, like we, we, we go to do an interview, our, our manager is just like, "You should just be going to announce that at some point." Yeah. Like, <laughs> can we not just tell people? <laughs> so yeah, I guess so. For the time being, it's just um, yeah, <laughs> that's it. Sorry, <laughs> it's good, perfect. 